hard work. It's really physically demanding. Definitely every day is a workout. There's a lot of steps to it. You're on your hands and knees, like literally chiseling away at rock. You know, like 500 shovels of dirt every day. Every rock is like a puzzle. Probably walk back and forth 30 million times, so yeah. This is an ADA trail. They'll be able to enjoy this tra trail, be able to really wheelchair across the whole trail without hitting cracks and bumps. You know, something that people who couldn't enjoy before, now they can get, they can get into it, enjoy it for themselves. We started way over there. The best part is when you're putting in those last screws and then you see it all like perfected and nice and you're like, wow, I did this or I helped do it, you know? So that's the good part. We put down a level of gravel. It's road base, and that's what goes on the final layer. It's just crushing dirt together, and then we are putting it through, and then we have to level it out. For ADA requirements, it has to be within a 5% grade. And then we pack it down. We take the fiber plate over it to make it very compact, where it's literally almost like concrete. Very, very intricate, high level rock work for sure. None of these rocks are perfect. It takes a lot of time and effort to shape the rocks. This is like a legacy project. Definitely get to learn a lot of different cool things. A lot of long dedicated hours. Blood, sweat, and tears literally. I probably would have never known about this place if I didn't work here. It's pretty small, but I mean, it's, it's beautiful. There's so many places that you could hike to over here. The one thing I look forward to in the future, it's like bring my kids and just show them, be like, hey, I put these rocks in, I helped cut this wood. I think that's really cool to think about sometimes.